Hello fellow developers, in this part we'll be adding the upgrade menu, this will be an image of what it would look like, so we have cash income and reduced cut, that's what we're making in this video, let's jump straight in. Alright so, first what you want to do is get the part 2 RBXM, it's linked in my discord server, and make sure it's flat on the ground just like that. Then what you want to do is ungroup them all in the correct places. So if it says put it in replicated storage, you put it in replicated storage and ungroup it. Now time for the more options feature. If you're having a bit of trouble with this tutorial, you can download the entire part 3 in my discord server. Alright, now time to insert the starter's UI stuff. So what you want to do is ungroup it and put everything in the main UI and just delete the old cut frame. Now put that into starter character scripts and delete the old script in there. Now it's time to en enable API services. So you want to go to the home tab right here and then go to game settings, security, and just enable that, make it green, after that, press it. Alright, the game should be working now without upgrades. If you want more help, go to part 1, 2, and 3. If you need help with the dev products, go to part 2 and 1. If you need help with the animation, go to part 3. If you need help with everything else, just go to the old parts. And just watch them all, please. Now, it's time to add the upgrade add-on. So, you want to just drag it into Roblox Studio. And I'll help you with the setup. So, first, open it. And... Get this and ungroup it in replicated storage. Now go to service scripts service and delete these three scripts right here. Then drag this into service script service and just ungroup it. Put it like right here and ungroup it. And you notice there's three models here. You would want this one, you want to put it into cut frame. And then you want to put it into the buy button and ungroup it and delete the old one. Then do the same for this one too. Just do the same thing I said. Now just ungroup that into the. Alright. Now the, the UI is looking sexy. Now what you want to do is test out the game. Alright, here's a quick time lapse of me getting 3 points for testing. And as you can see, I got the 3 points. And I'm going to buy some cash income. And reduce cut. Now let me teach you how to work the refund button so what you want to do is go to your game page and configure experience then go to dev products right down here in monetization and now what you want to do is make your name so I'm gonna call mine refund points also you don't need to add an image by the way you don't need to do that then set it to 7 robux now copy this string of digits then go to upgrade frame then refund and then go into the script and replace that string of digits with our string of digits then go up to server script service go to upgrades folder go into refund then just replace that ID with our ID. Alright, so if I wasn't happy with my stats, I could just go to upgrade and press the refund button. As you can see, as soon as I bought it, all my points came in. And I'm going to use it on reduce cut. Now let me teach you guys how to make your own upgrades. So first what you want to do is put in that value and I'm going to make mine reduce shove. Then after that you want to go to starter GUI. Then go to upgrade frame and just make it visible. After that start just duplicate that. Then rename it. I'm going to make my color red. Then get your image. Then go into this button script and go to the local script. Then change this to your upgrade name. So mine's reduce shelf. After that, you want to go up to server script service. Then go to 
stat change then copy one of these and change the name of it to your name so mine is reduce shove so i just make it reduce shove then go to the script in this text and then just change it then play test the game so then just scroll down and as you can see the stat got added full upgrade system in the discord i didn't want to make this video too long guys 1000 views for part 5 and i love you guys <laughs>